Um, so, how does it feel to be in a place where they love you as a Mexican? Uh, well, first of all, it feels beautiful. It feels beautiful to see like where my heritage, where my culture, to be in the homeland, you know. Uh, and it was beautiful to see how many kids came to the demo and how like excited they were. Uh, I just feel bad because I couldn't meet everybody, you know, so it was yeah. so many people. But uh, I hope they enjoyed the demo and uh, I hope to come back here many more times. Yeah, how do you feel about, about the response you had? I, you know, it's an incredible feeling, you know. I can't believe skateboarding has brought me this far. Um, like a lot of those kids who are there today, I was just like them, I just skating with my friends, sometimes in my house in the in the backyard or in the front yard or wherever we could, just skating and dreaming to be pro skaters. And then now I'm actually here and I'm the guy that all the kids came to see because I was that kid who I went to go see my favorite. And so it, it blows my mind that now I'm that guy. So it's crazy. So tell us some advices you have for those kids that want to be Paul Rodriguez. Yeah, um, well the advice is obviously you have to love skateboarding, it has to be your passion, number one passion in life and no matter if people tell you you can't make it or if your parents say you can't do it or whatever the obstacles are, you have to be willing to push through those obstacles um, and of course practice very, very, very hard, a lot, every day hours and hours and hours and focus always on having fun don't focus on I have to become a pro skateboarder I have to become a pro skater focus on enjoy it learning tricks enjoy learning new tricks and being with your friends and watching videos and reading magazines and and just being young in the game because when you do make it and you have finally been in it for a long time you're gonna re look back on these days and, and know how special they are so that's my advice. We saw you skating here in Mexico on some spots. How does it feel to land that trick mm. that cost you time, tears, sweat? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, I think that's the reason why everybody skates. For me, that's the reason why I skate is when the feeling of finally making a trick, especially if it's a trick that's been giving you problems, uh, that's the feeling like of accomplishment and feeling of, you know, satisfaction that, that I think everybody looks for in skateboarding or whatever your passion is even if you I don't know play uh, baseball or you play music it's the same feeling you know so um, that's that's what happens especially when something takes a long long time and you're getting hurt or you're falling and finally you do it it's uh, that's the reason why I skateboard okay um, so I've been asked a lot what do you say to your cab at the street league? Tell us about that uh, ritual. Yeah, well for me, uh, especially when you're at a competition, you're very nervous, you know, very, very nervous. And you, you have all this energy inside of you and you just got to move around. Um, and me, I, I say, I take my hat off and I say a prayer. You know, I just ask to be protected and, you know, keep, be safe. Um, and I just do it a lot because the more nervous I get, the more I feel like I have to do something or whatever. I don't know. It's just when you're in a situation like that and you get really nervous, you do funny stuff. But that's my thing. Three things for you that make a better skater. Um, it's hard to just say three things because there's a whole lot of things. I know. Um, well number one most important thing is passion because and I know it's obvious but if you don't have passion then you're not gonna want to get up and go skate so the passion you gotta keep your passion strong because your passion is what makes you go outside is gonna make you skate make you practice make you try hard make you when you fall down it's gonna make you get back up you know what I mean so a lot of passion um, and just a lot a lot of skating you know that's it's really basic stuff that's obvious you know it's just a lot of passion skate a lot a lot 
and um, study skateboarding. Like, you know, I mean, looking at all the websites and the magazines and videos, and just that's how I learned. I learned from watching other skaters and skating with better skaters. So, um, passion, practice, and watching a lot of skating. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is P-Rod, and I want to give a shout out to reskate.com.